Hello and welcome. This is our 1982 Eldis Tornado GT caravan. And we're giving her a little bit of a facelift. So we've cleaned her, lightly sanded it all over, now we're masking everything up. We've masked all around the windows and the doors and we're now currently masking decals all along both sides. And it's very tedious work but it's definitely worth it. We wanted to keep the original decals to keep some of her character. And as you can see we've masked the centre line across the roof of the caravan and covered the windows in plastic to protect them. It took about two days to mask her up completely and uh, yes we did not do the trim first, we should have done because it's very messy um, but we didn't. We still masked on this side as well and yes there's more trim we didn't do. And here we are using a roller and a tray to apply an oil-based gloss it took two coats to completely cover her it's quite a nice finish this part's already painted and hopefully we'll see in a minute yeah there you go just all around the edges completely cover that and you'll see the paint that we used, which is Leyland Trade, but any oil-based direct to metal exterior paint should do the job. Now it's time to remove all the masking tape. It's lovely. I say it's there. A bit of, little bit of a splob. Oops. Remove that after. She looks so much better. She was a very strange off yellow colour before, which wasn't very pleasant. But she looks lovely and fresh now. We removed the old lights as they needed to be replaced as well. She's lovely and bright now. She's about 37 years old. So this is quite a significant facelift for her. It took us a couple of days to mask her up, as I said, and another couple of days then to do the two coats. Thankfully it's not going to take so long to remove all the masking tape because there's a lot of it. <laughs> Absolutely everywhere. removing the tape and the plastic from the front window. Just trying to make sure we don't pull any of the paint away from the surface of the caravan. That would be a bit of a disaster. almost brand new, almost. But that's a huge improvement as all our painting things. I'm sorry about the camera work but I was sidestepping things and people trying to stay out of the way and uh, I forgot I was holding the camera. And here we go, I'm pulling the, well I'm not, my partner's pulling the masking tape off the decal. And we weren't really sure how this would work and if the, the decal would stay stuck to the caravan. But it's absolutely perfect. And it, it looks amazing against the white. We're very, very pleased with that. 
And obviously this was the longest part of the masking process. It was definitely worth it. And to be very careful. So obviously it's it's stuck to the deco which is stuck to the caravan. And we don't want to pull it off as well. There we go. And now onto the final two stripes. That looks really good. I'm very pleased. It worked very well. I'm just getting that last little bit. And there you have it. All done. to the trim that we should have done first it's very very messy and all of this old adhesive has to be removed before we can stick the new trim on so we're using a grinder with a wire brush attachment to try and uh, remove it it took a very long time but it had to be done or we wouldn't have been able to to attach the new trim very well trim goes all the way around the caravan all four sides and it all looks like that <laughs> so it all had to be ground down and using uh, screwdrivers to try and scrape bits off and we got white spirit at one point and trying to rub it break its stickiness and its adherence to the side so it took a long time of grinding and scraping and rubbing but it uh, it had to be done and it was worth it in the end and there you go it's using some white spirit now very well as you can see but it was very slow process all of the stuff that we're removing has ended up all over the caravan which we then had to clean off that's why you need to do this part first before you paint <sighs> now we're heating it with a hairdryer to help the adhesive for the new trim to attach and it's a car trim that we have in silver And again, at this end, a 
and here I am holding it and trying to keep it warm while he attaches it it's just pulling the two strips off the adhesive there and he's pressing it firmly in place and trying to attach it carefully and in a straight line keeping it level trusty hairdryer and go at the other end Press it firmly in place, just make sure it is attached all the way along. It's nice and flush. And then we remove the plastic covering that was protecting the surface. bright and shiny now. I'm very pleased with that. It worked very well. And here we are now rebuilding the arches. And for this we used car filler, one to rebuild them and give them stability and the second, the top coat, to make them nice and smooth and ready for painting. And a lot of sanding and sanding and sanding it was definitely worth it because once it was done it looked like they'd always been there but they were the origi an original part of the caravan so I'm very very pleased he's applying the top coat and it's just a standard car body filler in all the cracks and the little chips and then of course once it's all sanded and smooth it's clean and mask everything up and more painting but it's worth it, it took a long time I think it was two weeks in total to do everything it was definitely worth it looked amazing in the end so I hope you've enjoyed this and if you have please like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you here again thank you